In this video, you will see an overview of the proper setup procedure for SpectroCam. From unboxing the product to configuring software settings to image processing, step-by-step -step instructions will be provided. The most common configuration ordered by first-time SpectroCam customers will include camera, lens, laptop, manual, runtime license, power supply, tripod, laptop power supply, ethernet cable. Attach the SpectroCam device to a tripod. You will now need to connect a lens to the front of the device. SpectroCam cameras are compatible with standard F-mount optical interfaces. A range of appropriate lenses and adapters, such as those for microscopes, are also available. Next, connect the motor and power. Run the Ethernet cable to the SpectroCam device and laptop. For a proper spectral imaging measurement, an adequate light source needs to be chosen, with optical output in the same wavelength range as the filters installed in the camera. Be sure to create a diffuse lighting environment to avoid specular reflection from the objects you're trying to characterize. Start the computer and log in according to the instructions and open the SpectroCam software. The main screen shows most of the software functions. Now we will walk through a typical SpectroCam measurement. From configuring the camera settings to analyzing some of the results of the sample measurement. Go through the first menu to configure the general settings of the software and camera. We will now start the measurement. Select Test tab. Name filters by the position inserted. You can change the options for integration time to either fast mode or index mode. In fast mode, the filter wheel will rotate at a constant speed. Choose the camera integration time and gain. Images will be taken every time the filter is in the right position in front of the camera. In index mode, the filter wheel will move to one of the positions and stop. The camera will be set according to the integration time and gain optimized for that filter. An image will then be taken. Then, the filter wheel will move to the next position and the same process will be repeated. This option allows the user to determine the amount of rotations the filter wheel will make during the measurement before it returns to its home position. In this example, we selected continuously to show live updates. Remember, if you are saving data, the hard drive will store every image and storage space will quickly reduce. Select Preview. In this window, you can optimize the integration time and gain for each filter. Ideally, try to maximize the signal as much as possible without saturating the image for optimal signal to noise. You can either use the image or histogram tab to set exposure by filter and ensure there is no image saturation. The setting will be saved automatically. Next, run your experiment and acquire the desired images. During the rotation of the filter wheel, you will be able to see the images of the various positions being continuously updated during the measurements. In the Histogram tab, you can see the statistics of the images and check the signal levels to see whether any saturation has occurred. In the Processing tab, there are functions available to make calculations using the various images. Multiplication, division, subtraction, and other manipulations are available. In the Processed Images tab, you can review all individual and post-processed images. Analyze these and save them to disk. In the RGB tab, you can assign certain filters or calculated images to map as red, green, and blue. This produces false color images, which can be individually saved. Contact Pixel Tech today with any support-related questions or if you require additional or custom filters for your SpectroCam device.